Welcome to channel Madam Wong. Today we are going to learn 8.1 dispersion part 1. Why we need to learn measures of dispersion? Measures of dispersion actually is one of the subtopic in statistics. Statistics help us conduct research effectively, improve on critical and analytical thinking skills, as well as enable us to make the right decisions based on data. Therefore, mastering statistical knowledge enhances our skills in making improvements and data-driven predictions. These skills are extremely important in our career and daily life. The measures of this person give us an idea of how the values of a set of data are scattered. This person is small if the data set has a small range. If the difference between the values is large, it indicates that the data is widely dispersed. To understand better, let us look at the following example. The following data shows the marks scored by a group of pupils in mathematics monthly test. Different in marks equal to highest mark minus lowest mark. So the highest mark is 98 and the lowest mark is 28 equal to 98 minus 28 equal to 70. The difference between the highest mark and the lowest mark is large. It indicates that the data is widely dispersed. Pupils' achievement varies greatly. Now we look at example one. The table below shows the masses in kilogram of 20 pupils. State the difference in mass in kilogram of the pupils. So we find the largest mass 79 kilogram. The smallest mass is 47 kilogram. The difference in mass is 79 minus 47 is equal to 82 kilogram. B. The diagram below shows a dot plot of the length in centimeter of a sample of several types of insects. State the difference in size in centimeter of the longest insect and the shortest insect. So the length of the longest insect is here, 6.8. So you write here, 6.8 centimeter. The length of the shortest inset is equal to 3.1 centimeter. Difference in length equal to 6.8 centimeter minus 3.1 centimeter is equal to 3.7 centimeter. If you like my video, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.